Agent Nation. My name, of course, is Agent Beamstar. Let's get right. You probably said it for me. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a lot of big stories to cover today, so keep up. For our first story of the day, mediocre NBA 2K player and fantastic caster for the NBA 2K League, Dirk the Caster, put out a tweet saying, this roll it. I heard there's a couple well-known centers purposefully boosting their stats by searching at the same time. Getting on different teams and having someone just chuck shots to stat pad. Boys are really low IQ. Low IQ indeed, Dirk. And there's been a lot of cases of people trying to finesse the system this year. A few drama alerts ago, I talked about people joining search parties to get on teams with people. And now we're hearing people are getting on the other team and throwing games to help their friends make it. And even if that ends up getting you insane stat lines, they end up looking at your games. All of that is saved. And so when the scouts are looking through it, they're gonna know the guy was clearly throwing in like 45% of your games and something is up and they're gonna cut you from the list. In fact, they probably cut you from forever because you tried to trick the system. But I can't even blame you really, my guy, because the system was designed to be tricked. You mean to tell me the best way to get the top 105 or whatever NBA 2K players on the planet into a league is to do a combine where you play with random people, surely there has to be a better option. They decided to stick with what worked in season one for season two, and hopefully they switched it up for season three. But ladies and gentlemen, if there is a system that can be finessed, people will always try and finesse it. That is just human nature. But had Dirk not posted the tweet, I, did, I would never have known that this was going on. And now I'm a little curious who those people are. I might have to find out. For our next story of the day, about a week ago, I made a video talking about the people suing Fortnite and NBA 2K for including their dances, or they claim their copyright into the games. Uh, Blockboy JB is considering throwing his hat into the mix. He put out this tweet saying, should I sue Fortnite or not? Now this has no relevance to 2K, except for the fact that his dances are also in NBA 2K. So I feel like it'd be a weird decision to sue one without suing the other, but the tweet got a lot of retweets and likes, so apparently it's a new wave to at least attempt to sue, even if the chances you actually win this suit are very negligible. Is that the right word? Or should I just said small? Probably just say small next time, agent. For our next story of the day, Good news, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of you guys send me your Pro-Am games. Tell me like, Agent, bro, I dropped 102 points on the Pro-Am. I dropped this on the Pro-Am. Agent, I have the record for most points on the Pro-Am. I'm here to tell you, you do not. Because of the thousands of people that have sent me tweets and screenshots of their stats over the course of NBA 2K19, this one here takes the cake for the number one ranked most points in a single Pro-Am game. Hank put out this tweet saying, new record at Diplify. Diplify is a stretch four. They put him at shooting guard, so I assume these three here were just setting a whole ton of brick wall screens, glass cleaners getting all these rebounds. You see that? 22 rebounds, 20 rebounds, boom, boom, boom. Hank the Tank probably had Hall of Fame dimer or gold dimer to pass to Diplify to help him out. But 176 points is impressive. And at first glance, you might look at his three point percentage and be like, 58 for 97 is not all that good. But when you do these kind of games to get high prime, it's not that it's very challenging to do it. You kind of just have to get lucky with who you're playing. One, the people you're playing can't quit. Because once they start quitting, it's a lot harder to do this on AI. It's way easier to do this on garbage human beings. Probably the second most important thing is they have to have low IQ because there are some games where once you drop 20 they start to triple team because they know you're the only guy shooting uh, but sometimes you play a team and you're 50 shots into the game and they won't double team you. In this situation, it helps because I think he had a couple Hall of Fame brick wall screens. Even though a lot of you guys' first impression might be to look at that and scoff, like <laughs> 97 shots, I could have done that. Try it. You have to have a comp lineup, go up against a really bad team, and just shoot over top people. And you almost have to be a stretch big because that's the best archetype to shoot over top people. Listen, I'm gonna be very surprised if anybody ends up beating this record anytime soon. For our final story of the day, NBA 2K did an oopsie. Ladies and gentlemen, I have never seen people in the 2K community get this furious about something since Chris Smooth dropped that locker code video a few years back and everybody erupted. I'm not even a my team guy, so I was a little late to the situation, but the situation goes as follows. Actually, you know what? Better yet, I'll let Shake explain it. Giveaways and stuff like that to people. So I'm assuming someone just, I don't know, maybe they gave it to their buddy and they saw that, hey, this code worked for both people. And that's how the code got spread. Someone tweeted it out, and then I tweeted it out. And now, obviously, I have a lot more followers than probably whoever that person was. And because of that, it spread like wildfire. But it was posted on other places, all kinds of forums. There was YouTube videos, everything. So 
Um, it was out there. Not like I had some secret magic leaking power or anything like that. So basically the situation goes as follows. There was a code that was leaked for a 96 overall pink diamond LeBron James. Shake and Bake saw that and ended up reposting it. Then it began to spread. As everybody began to get the card, which is crazy by the way, because usually you gotta sell out a lot of money to get a card like that. So for a lot of people, especially on Christmas day, they were so excited. They're like, listen man, I'll take it. And so 12 hours goes by, 13 hours goes by, and NBA 2K is put on notice. And eventually they end up taking the card back. They People put attributes and shoes and a bunch of upgrades on that player, because it's a 96 overall LeBron James. So you're expecting to keep a card that good unless I mean, if everybody has it, right, it's not going to go for much in the market. You keep a card that good, you upgrade the player, you keep it on your team, put contracts, all that. And so when 2K took the card away, they lost all of that, and people were furious. I ended up hearing about it late on Twitter, but apparently, like, it's been the sh**. Cash Nasty put out a tweet saying, I'm disappointed in 2K for not letting everyone keep the pink diamond LeBron on Christmas. I seen kids on my timeline happy because almost everyone got the code. Out of all days, they took away the card on Christmas because of their mistake. Shake my head, 2K, we gotta do better. He wasn't the only one, Troy Dan, pretty much every My Team YouTuber was also talking about it. And so on the next day, Ronnie had the scheduled celebrity game. I was in it, LSK was in it, Troy Dan was in it, Paul George, Kevin Garnett, Zach was in it. Those were the six players, 3v3 celebrity game. Everybody could have viewed it if you were loaded into the neighborhood. Now, it was a lot of fun, video coming tomorrow for sure, but I guess Ronnie2k expected some heat during the stream, so he prepared a pretty big giveaway to kind of recompensate for the fact that they took away the car that everybody had already gotten, even if they haven't actually earned it. So I'll let you see what Ronnie had to say about it, and then we'll get back to the rest of the story, which somehow continued to escalate. So, hopefully that makes up for the annoyance of last night. It wasn't, that's the kind of thing that like, the cards shouldn't have been out there to begin with. If you guys get leaked cards in the future, do not put stuff on them. It's, we're going to be pulling those. So it's not, a, it's not a good habit to... Now you might be wondering what was given away to make up for the fact that they literally took away a pink diamond LeBron James. It was between 20,000 to 50,000 MT and a pink diamond card. And so for the most part, a lot of people were happy. So Ronnie was talking about on a stream, the code went out, everybody gets a free pink diamond, hallelujah, it's the holidays. The problem people were having was when they would put in the code, they would get a server error, and then when they tried to do it a second time, it would tell them, dude, you already put in the code. And so a lot of people were just out of luck. They literally could not get the code, and people began to erupt once again. So of course, everybody began to hit up 2K support, and then people found out between 24 to 48 hours, if you submit a ticket saying that I had a server error, I actually didn't get the items that I was promised in the codes, that 2K support Support would actually give it to you until 2k support got so much tickets that they literally couldn't keep up so instead of that 24 to 48 hour window it might end up being like a week for some people because a lot of people are saying they had the problem with the server error and so I guess at the end of the day someone leaked the card and everybody got the card 2k took away the card everybody got mad 2k gave us another card and then everybody was happy until there was a server error and then 2k support fixed that and so now we're here. It was a very fascinating story, and I'm really happy the guys ended up getting it. I wish I could celebrate with y'all, but I just don't care about my team, but I'm happy for y'all. I right? enjoy your new pink diamond, and uh, maybe that means you won't have to spend an extra $100 on my team packs this week. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's been it for the news. If you guys enjoy, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Listen, it's Agent Beam start talking. Click on one of these two videos here if you haven't watched them already, and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. No, I kind of messed that up. No, I got to do it on this side. Peace. I was probably really corny.